Hey guys, Caleb with White Metal Games here, and today's video update is this Townar in purple and gold energy effects with blue OSL. Uh, this project uh, was requisitioned by a client who found a model by an artist named Hiso, H-I-S-O, online, and he really liked his style of work. And so he um, hired us to basically emulate the style. Um, I, I think we've done a pretty decent job of this. So I would call this probably around an Electrum level project, um, mostly because of the OSL and the two tones of layering on the armor. Um, this particular project uh, is a lot of fun to paint. First off, I love the blue and, and gold OSL contrast. I also like the purple armor quite a bit. We had a lot of fun painting that. It's hard to tell here in the video, but in the photos, um, it's very clear we used two different tones of purple to create a shadow. Um, so it was a really nice looking project, really fun to paint, and really quick to paint, frankly. This was a really nice and breezy project. Um, so yeah, this was a great one. Um, if you are interested in contacting us about models like this, do so at info at whitemetalgames.com. Um, you can also check out all of our work, of course, at whitemetalgames.com, our website. And you can check out our galleries to show um, many, many different projects you'll see in a variety of levels variety of uh, different types of models, not just Games Workshop, of course, but lots of different ranges represented there. Um, I'm not going to do any particular 360s on this project, but what I will do is go off-road a little bit so you guys can see some close-ups of these particular guys. One other thing the client asked for was a little bit of weathering, so we sponged on some metals here and there to show some weathering effects, in particular on hard edges where we could, um, on blacks where we could, because it works really well in general with the metals. Uh, but yeah, this was a fun project to do. The client requested us not base them, so we just painted the bases black so he can base it any way he likes. We're happy to do that. Um, another cool thing about this project is fully magnetized. All of these guns, boop, pop off, pop back on, boop. All of these side options, boop, pop off, pop back. Well, <laughs> they pop on when I can find the magnet while I'm double fisting it over here. Uh, there we go, great. And these guns also come off. In addition to that, the Storm Surge's big gun comes off as well. We don't magnetize this, um, this option generally, but what we do is we leave it off so the client can basically just use it and swap it out as he sees fit. Uh, and it does magnetize on up here for sake of ease. <laughs> If I can get it on there, there we go. And we also put a second magnet back there so you can represent the ordnance option fire for that particular gun. So you can shoot it either way you like. So lots of fun there, a great looking project. Of course, we love the town R's, keep them coming. The more of those we can get the merrier. We love this model. Uh, but that's about it for now. Till next time, put your minis where your mouth is.